We're now going to talk about the parabola. And now this is where we're going to depart from the book. Um, the book has a different form of the equation for parabola, and they have some good reasons for that, but we're going to try and make this a uh, little simpler. So, what we want to look at is something we're familiar with. We've already seen this form of the parabola. y is equal to a times x minus h quantity squared plus k. And we saw this earlier in the semester. We know that the vertex is at hk. And we know that if a is positive, my parabola opens upward. If a is negative, my parabola opens downward. And that's basically as far as we got before. What we want to do now is not only do we want to plot the vertex and realize which direction my parabola opens, but we're also going to have to pick a couple more points to get the shape of our parabola correct. So that's familiar. Now here's one that's not so familiar. We're also going to now look at parabolas that open to the left and right. And the equation we're going to use for these parabolas is x equals a times the quantity y minus k squared plus h. Notice the vertex is still at hk, but h and k have swapped places. And similar rules for a. If a is positive, my parabola is going to open to the right, or in the positive direction. If a is negative, my parabola is going to open to the left, or in a negative direction. Now I'm going to leave 16 and 17 for you, and I'm going to do 18. Because this is the form that the book is going to give you parabolas in. And remember, they have very good reasons. Uh, but we're going to do something a little different. So I look at this, and I can first tell it's a parabola because I have an x squared portion, but the y is not squared. There are no y squareds anywhere here. So that tells me I need to solve for y. So if I want to get y all by itself, I want to take some very specific steps. The first step I'm going to take is to rewrite this equation in the reverse order. When I solve for things, I like a I want my y to be on the left. So next, I want to get rid of the number in front of my y minus 2 factor. So I'm going to just divide both sides by negative 7. And when that simplifies, I get y minus 2 is equal to, now remember this will be negative 1 seventh times x minus 2 quantity squared. Okay, now I'm going to add 2 to both sides, and so my equation will be y equals negative 1 7 times the quantity x minus 2 squared plus 2. So now this is solved for y. I know this parabola is going to open downward, since that's negative. The vertex is at 2, 2, so let's go over to 2, 2. And now to make my parabola very precise, what I want to do next is actually make a table of values. x, y. We already know what the vertex is. That's 2, 2. So what we want to do is, since this opens downward, I want to pick an x that is one unit to the left of the vertex, so that would be a 1. And I want to pick an x that's one unit to the right, so that would be 3. And I just plug those in and uh, try and figure out what it would be. Hmm. Perhaps that was not the best choice. Because that looks like we're going to get fractions for answers. Okay. Now, to make our parabola more precise, I make a table of values. You see I've already put in our vertex. And now I want to pick two more x values, and here's a little trick. What I do is I look at my a, and since my a is 1 7th, I'm going to pick an x value that is 7 units to the right of the vertex and 7 units to the left of the vertex. So 7 to the right would be plus 7 or 9, 7 to the left would be minus 7 or um, negative 5. And now I plug these in and I should get some nice y's. If x is 9, I'll get uh, 9 minus 2 is 7. 7 squared is 49. 
negative 1 7th times 49 is negative 7. Negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. Hey, how about that? So when x is 9, y is negative 5, which is here. Then I do the same thing with the negative 5, and it turns out I also get y is negative 5 because of symmetry. And now I connect those, and I have this wide parabola. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and do another parabola. Now this parabola has the y portion is squared and the x portion is not. So I know this parabola is going to open to the left or right. So again, I'm going to go through the same steps. I'm going to do them quickly. And I'm going to isolate the x. So I start by rewriting the equation. Then I'm going to divide. So I'll get x minus 1 is equal to the 1 6 times y minus 2 quantity squared. Then I add 1. And there it is. There is standard form. So I know the vertex is at, be very careful, let's make our xy table, 1, 2. That's where my vertex is, 1, 2. So I can plot that, 1, 2. I'm going to use my same trick. Since my a is 1 sixth, I'm going to pick, this time I'm going to pick a y value that is 6 units to the left and to the right, or that's actually wrong, up and down this time. So uh, 2 plus 6 is 8, 2 minus 6 is negative 4. So those are my y's that I pick. Now I plug them in to figure out what my x will be. If I plug 8 in here, I'll get 6 squared is 36. 1 6 times 36 is 6 plus 1 is 7. And because of symmetry, I really hope that I also will end up with 7. x equals 7 for the other point. So let's graph those. So this says if x is 7, then y is either 8. One more up or negative 4. And now I can draw my parabola. Excellent. Done.